Hello Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome to your January 22nd through the 24th. I'm going to be using the Casanova Tarot, the Light Sears Tarot, and the Oracle of Visions. Casanova Tarot is just going to be to see whether or not you and your person are going to have some physical action this weekend. Because <laughs> they are very explicit. <laughs> I will not be showing the cards on YouTube, so just so you are aware, we'll just be gathering the data off of them. I'd like to welcome back my VIP members. Truly appreciate your love, support, and encouragement. Welcome back subscribers, and welcome back repeat viewers. If you're brand new, welcome, welcome. I'm usually much more peppy than I am today, for those of you that are brand new, just so you are aware. I'm a little tired today. Pandora's gift. Um, Pisces had that. There seems to be a little argument outside. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> oh my. Okay. So Pandora's gift. So this is interesting. It almost looks like an empress, right? And, and, and the way she opens up the box, out comes this these um, fairies and they're like firefly fairies right they're absolutely adorable and so it feels as if something magical is about to happen in your life Capricorn so let's take a look and see what we have here so Capricorn you have Leo cancer energy here with the king of wands this is you getting ready to take some sort of action or you're hoping that your person will take some sort of action towards you. And so this is a very strong energy. Our King of Wands is very much an entrepreneurial type. You know, he doesn't let anything get in his way. He goes after what he wants. He's great at networking and bringing people together. So perhaps maybe you're wanting to communicate with your person and you're trying to figure out, okay, well, what is the best way for me to put together what it is that I want to say, right? So you could be evaluating that. On a heart level, we have the card of Sagittarius, temperance. On a heart level, you're trying to keep it together. <laughs> Feeling a little unbalanced, you needed some healing, trying to work through an old issue, work through a breakup, work through some sort of difficulty, and try not to let that interfere with your forward movement towards whomever this person is over here. With the magician, it's Virgo Gemini. This is a card of creating something new. I feel, I feel like Capricorn, you're wanting to open Pandora's box with this person over here. It's kind of like, all right, let's see where this is gonna go, right? Let's create something new. Let's see where this is gonna go. Let's just dive straight in, right? Dive straight in, just go for it. And so I feel like you're wanting to go for it, whatever it happens to be <laughs> um, with you and your person. But you have a challenge, and that's the Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords in a challenged position or in a reverse position can sometimes be a spying energy. So Capricorn, your challenge may be that you're kind of keeping an eye on your person and you're thinking you're seeing something that you're not or you're keeping an eye on your person and you're not quite sure how to approach them. It's, you know, try not to um, Capricorn. <laughs> if this is you with your person, right? Try not to let the things that you see or hear sway your view of your person because uh, oftentimes things are not, not what they appear on social media, right? So try not to let that get to you. If your person's the one spying on you, you might have to do something about that, but I'm not seeing that, that's your challenge. Okay, so two of wands, your person's trying to figure out, well, how do I take action to get towards the Capricorn? What do I need to do? Maybe you guys are at a physical distance with the, the map and the um, globe here. How do I take action to get over towards the Capricorn? But your person's holding back. 
I don't believe they're the ones. I don't. I think this is your energy. Um, they're holding back. They're not opening up. They're not getting too close. In fact, they're very closed off to you right now. They're guarding their heart. Maybe something happened between the two of you in the past. But in terms of actions, we have the Six of Wands. So they want to beat out the competition for you, Capricorn. They want to be able to, to be victorious in this connection with you. Whatever that looks like for the two of you, you know, whatever your end game is, whatever direction you're wanting to move this in. And then we have the Seven of Cups as their challenge. So they can't find their way forward. There's something, there's something blocking this person from understanding how to move towards you. Um, but it looks like you're getting ready to take action. So if you're not and you feel more like you're on this side, you need to swap sides, Capricorn or Crosswatcher. You know, it looks like you're getting ready to take action. They, they can't seem to figure it out. So they can't see. Maybe they're stuck in the box, right? They can't see out. But you're going to open that box and unleash this, the emotions between the two of you. I don't think this person knows you're taking any action towards them. Like, they can't see it. Um, you, may have, uh, you may have Capricorn in, in your Venus. I don't think that this person knows that you are coming towards them. There's this, this energy of them not being able to see their way. So, with the, the hangman, you're trying to gain a new perspective on this. It's literally facing your person. Because the card is different, right? <laughs> it's facing your person. So, it's like you're trying to figure out a new perspective on how to move towards this person. What is going to allow you to be most successful in communicating with your person? Because they're closed off. Like, big time. Seven, seven of wands. Now, if the two of you are worried about competition, I think this person is wanting to win you. <laughs> but I feel more like this is, your person is closed off. At the heart space, they are not opening up to you, Capricorn. They are not letting you in. So I do see that your solution to being let into that heart space is to be this Knight of Cups, to be all charming, to be all sweet, to be all romantic. And then this person will open up to you more. So it looks like that's your key. Be charming and romantic and your person will open up their heart space a little bit more to you. All right. So I'm definitely seeing a spying energy in the Casanova cards. So whomever is the masculine uh, energy of the two, regardless of whether this is a heterosexual couple or a same sex, whomever is the more masculine energy appears to have a little bit of a spying energy. Now, don't be like, bash, if it's not yours, just throw it out, you know. Don't go tell me you're not the stalker. <laughs> I mean, not a stalker stalker, just like a social media checker, you know. You're just checking out their social media pics. So, it appears to be that, you know, um, the masculine energy is more in that way. And look, 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 look. I'm telling you, Capricorn, whomever's on this side, whether it's you or the other person, is getting ready to take some action. See, it's like he's picking up the wand and then he's hopping on the on the horse and he's heading towards his person. But they don't see it. They don't see it at all. The box is closed. They can't see their way forward. But here comes that page and knight of wands, big time fast coming in. So I, this looks really, really wonderful. I'm seeing a reunion coming up very soon for you and this person. So remain hopeful. Love and light to you, Capricorn. Big hug from Kimmy. Kiss, kiss. I'll see you soon.